If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know that I have knit quite a few pairs of stockings, including a wool silk blend that I did by hand, as well as a pair of white cotton stockings that I did by hand. I have also previously unsuccessfully attempted to use a knitting machine to make a pair of cotton stockings, and I just couldn't get them quite right. Today, we're going to revisit using a knitting machine to make socks or stockings, this time using a circular sock machine or a CSM. And a big thank you to my patrons for enabling me to purchase one of my dream pieces of machinery. If you watch my video on the history of knitting machines, then you'll know that they were invented in 1589 for knitting stockings. They were originally made as a straight line of needles that would knit flat pieces of knitting, which were then sewn together to create stockings. However, the CSM came about a few hundred years later and were very popularly advertised in magazines in the 1800s, like this one that I have right here. And I think the advertising worked on me because ever since I laid my eyes on them, I just knew that I wanted to get one of these. There are many free CSM manuals that still exist from the 1800s that will teach you all that you need to know about knitting stockings on your CSM, and they seem to apply to even the CSM that I own, which is 3D printed, and that's super cool. I do eventually want to knit Victorian style stockings. I do first want to learn the basics of my machine, so I'm gonna go stick with the manufacturer's free video tutorials to learn how to use my machine. But first, let's go unpack it. Come on. Nutella, do you want to show them what we got? Because I'm very excited about what we got. We're gonna open this together and hopefully try to learn... Oh my God. <laughs> no, there's no, 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 no. Off. All right, before I unwrap, I guess, I need to pay a little bit of attention to Nutella. Billy Rock! Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna unpack the box though, okay? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I can't believe it. I have a circular sock machine. They have a tutorial online on how to set this guy up, so I'm gonna do my best to follow it and uh, see if we can get this CSM set up and we can start cranking. first cast on ever. A little out of breath because I'm so excited. Okay, this is the point. If this works, it'll be my first cast on on a CSM. I think it's working. Let me show you. Oh no! I was knitting with the wrong end of the yarn. I was knitting with the tail end rather than the end that's coming from the cone, so I just ran out of yarn. I knew it was too good to be true. I don't usually get things on the first try, so let's redo this one more time. Attempt number two. Hopefully this time I threaded the right end of the yarn in. Here we go. Right, nutters? I think I'm doing it. Let's see if I can get to one full row. I think I look a little maniacal because I'm just so ridiculously happy, but I did it, we did it, it's going. It is so fascinating to watch. Look, come close. Ok, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna call it good on my first little sample here. So I'm going to remove this yarn from my machine, or the project from the machine. Ooh. This is my little cast on bonnet. And then this right here is my first bit of a piece made on a circular sock machine. And I honestly could not be happier. This is amazing. I am beyond pleased with how this has worked out so far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go watch the Dean and Bean YouTube channel. They have crank alongs for a few different things, but I think I'm gonna do their crank alongs where they do the, just the plain socks first. I just wanna make sure that I'm doing everything right. Let's go study some crank alongs and maybe I will knit my first piece. I, I am back from going through the entire basic sock tutorial. So I have started on basically like the first two or three steps. I got so excited and so flustered, I sweat through the last thing I was wearing. So I went ahead and I changed this. I had to change the cylinder. I had to change my tension and redo my swatch. But now that all of this is done, I think I'm ready to sit down and get cranking on my first sock. Let's get to cranking. I have my iPad right over here with a tutorial right next to me I'm putting I think I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch Sanditon or Outlander or Bridgerton we'll see I'll put something on the TV let's get cranking <laughs> Okay, if I have done everything correctly, I should now just crank once around and my sock should come out and off the bottom here. Oh, goodness, I'm tired. It's been like two and a half hours that I've been working on this, like focus, dedicated concentration. I need to cut the yarn first, that would help. Now, <laughs> one round. All I need to do is take off the cast on bonnet and sew the toe up with a kitchener stitch and we have a sock. Okay, now it's been hours, so I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go uh, take a break for the rest of the evening and I will check back to crank out the second sock and we'll see how this pair fits. <sighs> it looks awesome, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> My first CSM sock is done. I spent some time yesterday kitchenering the toe together. Here is the join and I think it looks wonderful. One thing I noticed and that you might notice just by seeing this is that this sock looks large. And when I try it on, it is, it is too big. I did do a tension swatch. I tried to do the calculations correctly, but I think I gave myself a little too much positive ease and a little too much length. Before I crank out a second sock that isn't going to fit me, I wanted to take a moment and reevaluate or readjust what my plan is. I believe I'm actually going to undo this sock and re-crank it, but at a later date. I think that this particular sock yarn lends itself best to being ribbed so that the ribbing will kind of come together around my legs. I have been watching <laughs> River videos and 100% honesty, I'm intimidated. My plans, my immediate plans for the CSM aren't going to require doing ribbing. So I think I might save that for a later date. Now I'm gonna put this sock and yarn aside. I'm gonna bust out my CSM again. I'm gonna try to go a little bit smaller with this. I'm gonna go grab some thinner sock yarn that I have in my stash and redo a tension swatch, redo the calculations, and re-go over making another sock and see if that one fits me any better.
I've been cranking away the last few days on this wonderful machine. I think I overcompensated for the first difficulties. My first sock was far too big, and my second sock that I tried to make was far too small. That was a no. The third sock I made, I think size-wise is perfect, but when I hung the hem, I didn't hang it properly, and so now this sock just unravels by itself, as you can see. The fourth and fifth socks were a success. <laughs> can you see them? I haven't stopped wearing them since I finished them. There they are. And I loved making them so much that I decided to make two extra pairs. We have one here, two. Guess who it's going to? Of course, my patrons. I hope that they'll enjoy these. I hope that they'll fit. However, I am also thinking about including one more thing. Now that I feel like I have succeeded at making socks and figuring out how to use this machine for socks, I want to see if I can go back to a slightly earlier pattern book and try out one of those patterns. There are some fascinating ones in the books. I could make a circular sock machine knit, corset, or sweater, cardigan, vest, hat, <laughs> a whole variety of things. But what I really wanted to try out was a particular bag, just because it reminded me very much of the reticule that I worked on. This will not be the last time I'm using the CSM, so please feel free to subscribe because next week I'm going to be using it to make these stockings for my 1890s biking ensemble that I'm going to completely knit and I have been working on for the past few months, but I do think that I still have a few more things to learn. In the meantime, let me go take this beautiful speckled yarn and make a 19 teens pattern for a knit handbag. <laughs> So pleased with all the things I was able to knit on my new circular sock machine. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this week's video, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you enjoy watching videos like this, like I said, next week I will be picking up the CSM once again to work on my 1890s biking ensemble. See you all again very soon. Bye.